Hi everyone and welcome to the show. Let me give you a quick rundown of what our thoughts were when we started this project and the materials that you might need. So first off we'll need a frame to mount our system to. I decided to go with two meter lengths of wooden planks as that seemed like a nice modular size as I can build the entire system in a two by two meter area. <clears throat> On top of those we'll be adding 110 millimeter PVC pipes and those will be used to actually hold our plants. So in order to make them hold our plants, we will have to cut slits into them and those slits we'll use a heat gun and a stainless steel water cup to heat them and warp them so that those slits become actual circular holes. And those holes will hold our neck cups. So once we have our neck cups in there, we can actually start working on the water supply and how these plants will get fed. So in order to do that, we decided to feed them using a 15 millimeter diameter irrigation pipe that reduces to five millimeter sections that feed each pipe individually. And those all will drain down into the last drain pipe, which you can see we mounted to the bottom there, and that will drain back straight into the reservoir from which it will be pumped back up again to the plants. And the reservoir is where you'll be putting your nutrients and your calcium formulas. <clears throat> so once we have the water system set up, we can take our plants that have already sprouted within the rock wool plugs and we can insert those into the system and leave them there for a while until we have grown plants. So this is the idea and let's get to it. And here comes Kuri, the most masculine monster in the Afrikaner community we are in. Look at him carrying this uh, thing and uh, going with it to the other side, to the back of the farm. Why do you want to drop it here? Because we have electricity tools and a way to dispose of things without having to sweep. So we need to move that other uh, one here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. These are 2.4 meters. These are 2.4 meters. And that's uh, is that ideal for our okay so I think we're going to be adapting this length let's see how it goes so here you can see all the pipes that we had pre-cut at the hardware store these are all two meter lengths and um, the system that we're planning on building will be inside of this container which is actually a, a refrigerator unit from the back of a truck Over here you can see that we're marking the spots to mount each and every pipe. Um, each pipe will be mounted 110 millimeters apart using aluminum mounting brackets. Next time I won't use the brackets as they end up being extremely expensive. At this point we realized that absolutely none of the pipes were the, of the same length and that the hardware store doesn't know how to use measuring tape so we took a break. We have cut this piece from one of the off cuts here and the reason for that is so that we have the perfect manufactured line to cut by because this is a meat saw, it's not an actual proper saw for this work. So we're using a meat saw for that. And this allows us to clip it on. And then we have a nice symmetrical So It's the best we could do to uh, revive uh, after this whole fuck up basically. Let's see if we can get it. No, I actually... Did you turn it on? So we had an issue where the meat saw blade kept coming off. Um, so we had a professional come and help us out. Recording the emergency management. <laughs> so we had a professional come in and teach us. 
kind van dat het moet gebeuren als hij moet daar een groepje is. Maar hij is dan slap man. So we ended up cutting all the pipes 1.8 meters because that ended up being the, the median size that we could get all of them equal. The shortest one we had was 1.8 so we had to cut them all 1.8 to fit. Uh, so much for the hardware store. This is the frame after a half day of work. Um, I think we need to start it up and then we're gonna be moving it inside there. That's where exactly the uh, container is going to be. So here you can see the templates that we, we first did a few tests before we moved on to the actual pipes. Main reason being we didn't want to mess up anything. And here you can see we used a heat gun with the slits cut into the pipes there. Those slits are about 50 millimeters wide. And with a heat gun, you can heat up the PVC pipe. We use the stainless steel cup to push in the, the pipe and mold it to fit the neck cups. So you can see us just doing the rest of them slowly, but surely each and every one of them this is an extremely long process as the heat gun can only do so much at a time without getting damaged so we have to take it really slowly. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it please consider watching the next one.